but we got one car fully packed the other one is fully packed we have one more that we need to pack and then yeah we leave tomorrow so everything's like already almost fully packed we just have a couple more things to pack and then that's it and then we move tomorrow Tomorrow's goal is Twin Falls, Idaho. So from here to Twin Falls is about like 11 hours, I think. So I look crazy. Good morning, as you can see. Our car is packed. It is 6.30 in the morning. We got like no sleep last night because we were still packing. So we went to bed at midnight, so. Not the greatest night's sleep for such a long drive that we have today, but I guess it's okay. I'm trying to set this up now for my phone. <laughs> uh, I'll get you guys posted. Hello. I look crazy again, but... Oi, Maxi, come here. Hey. We're running into a slight problem, so it's taking later than what we expected to leave. Um, the car is scraping because it's really heavy. So, go ahead. Let's go for a little walk then. Okay. So, we are... So, he's raising the car and stuff like that. So, right now it's 8 o'clock. I wanted to leave an hour ago. But I don't think that's going to happen, obviously, anymore. Hey, hey. Good boy. Um, we already gave Max his calming pills. So, he's just a calm boy on a little walk, isn't he? But, yeah, so, so yeah, so slight little problem, but this is why we scheduled in a couple extra days and everything like that. So, we'll get there eventually. This angle is sick. <laughs> okay, I'm still driving. I wanted to give an update before I forgot and never updated this day, but we are on our way to Boise. We were planning on leaving around 7 this morning, like what I said, and then this whole thing with Carlos's car kind of ended up happening, and we literally had to turn right back around, and to take care of that so um, we ended up finally leaving around 8 30 ish uh, we've been driving all day it is currently 508 and we will be at our hotel in about three hours um, but yeah the view is gorgeous I don't know if you can see that behind me it is gorgeous it's really just flat stuff right now so nothing too crazy I'm sick of driving already I'm just excited to go to the hotel and shower because I feel like a grease ball so I'm very excited to go to the hotel and shower and sleep I'm exhausted um but you want to get gas here and we have walking doggies we have walkie talkies, so love that for us. And then Max ended up throwing up in the car because it was like this the whole time. For a while, for about like two hours, we're going like this. And the roads were so freaking bumpy that it was just like, 
he was just not feeling good. But we have been giving him like food um, in his like little toy. So he's been like eating throughout the day, but not like a huge amount. But tonight at the hotel, he's definitely gonna end up eating a bigger amount. So just because. Other people have been going on our channel as well, which is kind of funny. So it's just like funny to, cause I was complaining to Carlos. I'm like, I can't like, what did I say? said something about how like my bluetooth was literally not not working and someone on on a different channel or on the walkie talkie radio to me was like i'm so sorry that sucks see that was somebody else's channel saying that they stopped at the viewpoint that's so funny but like other people's like conversations are going through the obviously the radio so but yeah I was like I can't get my bluetooth to work I'm so frustrated and then someone goes dude I'm so sorry that, that sucks that sucks or like something like that and I was like this is so funny but anyways that is my update people are keep radioing so I'm gonna go we're gonna get gas again um We've been trying to get gas whenever we see a gas station and then stopping to go pee and everything just because, um, I mean, why not? Like, this Max is literally the most cutest dog alive. Like, what? Okay. <laughs> Look at that little boy. He's so cute. Oh my gosh. We made it to the hotel. I am so tired. Max is making himself comfortable. <laughs> That's his bed. This is ours. I am going to take a shower, but Carlos is in the bathroom right now. So. This room is so crusty dusty. I think it's about like 11 o'clock. I'm so tired. But it's okay. It's okay. We're getting there. Okay, Okay. <laughs> we are on a rest stop in Idaho. We're still in Idaho. We are on our way. We're gonna go to Boise, or oh my gosh. We are gonna go to, we're trying to get to Laramie. I'm gonna see in the video. Um, I think we're gonna try to get to Laramie today, which is in Wyoming, so we will see, but where I set the rest area. Once again, we kind of had a later start to our day, but that's okay. We're we're trucking along, so he's waiting for Carlos. So that he's on high alert. Aren't ya? drove out like it's gonna melt but it just felt so much longer. Max is sleeping next to me. He's also very tired. <clears throat> but we <sighs> we got to <sighs> we got to the hotel around eleven because we got food before we got to the hotel, so we got some food and then we went to the hotel to eat. It's, it's just so much different traveling with a dog <clears throat> because, like, we can't bring him inside to, like, places and stuff, but yeah, I'm like trying to keep my eyes open. I'm so tired. <sighs> I'm like listening to the audiobook of Harry Potter and I'm almost done with that, so my voice is now leaving me. Okay. Anyways, we're gonna get to Missouri tomorrow. We'll see what happens. That's your update. So I haven't been feeling filming much of our like 
drive but it's kind of boring so okay so we are we just got out of wyoming and we're now in nebraska um we tried to go use this rest area in nebraska and then it took us like in the middle of nowhere sorry this could be very bumpy this road is not our friend um but they took or i feel like nebraska kind of took us the wrong way and we were ended up at somebody's house so needless to say we finally stopped and we got gas again because we just don't know the next time we're going to get gas so yeah um we had a very late start today because as you saw yesterday we were dead we were so tired um so we got a full eight hours of sleep last night which i think is helping us because already i think we're about three hours in and we're still like doing pretty good we got like lunch at um a couple of these like gas stations they're called lovers or loves or something like that loves or like flying J. um just like bigger gas stations that trucks can stop at and we get gas and then we get like a little we got a little snack um but they have like like taquitos and hot dogs and like salads and then they end up having um like a restaurant in in there as well so we just got something small just to hold us over for like lunch because we literally did not start driving until 10 o'clock this morning um weather's been not so good um now it is but in getting out of all of wyoming it was so sketchy um it just looked like there's ice everywhere and then i'm so glad we're out of wyoming and now we're in nebraska but um the roads are just really bad so anyways and then there's like um a warning of high winds and all this kind of stuff so it's just it's been pretty fun so but it's okay um we don't really know where we're gonna stop tonight that's kind of what we've been doing we just we have like a location in mind but we want to see if we can go to it or further so that's kind of how it's going and I haven't really filmed too much of like the trip because literally like as you can see behind me that's what it looks like like flatlands with some snow on it and so I don't think that that's really in interesting and we haven't stopped anywhere like cool so it's just like I think it's just kind of like boring if I just film that so I'll try to be better at filming but there's just like really nothing to film um my mom's been at our house a lot and she's been putting in the work um uh our house was like painted five million different colors and we ended up hiring professional painters to paint the house the inside of the house just like like a creamy white the master bedroom I think was pink another room was orange another one was like this dark dark burgundy and the kitchen was green so just like random colors and so my mom was telling me like that the house looks so much better and this and that already so I'm really excited to go see the house um it took them I think three layers of paint to go through each of the for for the whole house and he was saying that usually they don't use that much for our house size they usually use 14 gallons but since our house was a house of very many colors and bright colors they had to use 20 gallons of paint to cover everything so but they painted all of the doors and made the doors look nice they covered holes in the wall cracks in the wall like they did so good so that's one less thing that we have to do but i'll definitely be filming our our progress for um 
putting stuff in the house, like our DIYs and everything like that. But yeah, so that's that's it for now. Um, I'll try to film our like when we're almost there. And like the other thing why I don't film when it gets more in the middle of the day is because it gets so dark so quick and you won't be able to see anything. But I'll try my hardest to film, but we'll see. I'm editing the video right now and I did not finish recording. Um, that is the last clip I have filmed. I don't know if Carlos has anything else from that day, but this is the last clip I have. And ironically, I'm wearing the same sweatshirt. So basically what happened is we ended up driving, we got to Missouri super late at night, and then we ended up sleeping, having like a full eight hours of sleep, which we did not have a full eight hours of sleep that whole trip. And Carlos and I were like, you know what? Screw it. Let's just drive from, I, I don't know where in Missouri we were at this point, but we just decided to drive from Missouri to Charlotte where my parents are at because at our house, we didn't have a bed. We didn't have anything. We were sick of driving. We we're sick of staying in hotels. We just wanted to get here. So we ended up having a late start to um, the next day from Missouri. To Charlotte um, got up around or we left around like 9 or 10 um, and then we just drove all the way till 5 a.m. the next day um, so supposedly we were supposed to get there around midnight 1 a.m. but with all with all of our stops um, to pee to do gas um, there was a little dog park and stuff like that we let we let Max run like run around we just kind of like really took our time this last day um, and I just really just didn't film anything and I just, I'm kicking myself for not filming. The other reason why we just wanted to drive straight to Charlotte was because Nashville is about six or so hours away from Charlotte and we were going to stay in Nashville or outside of Nashville. Um, and so we were like, well, we might as well just keep flipping driving until Charlotte since it's only an extra six hours. And so we just said, screw it. And we just kept going. So fill in for everything I did not film. And we ended up getting to Charlotte at 5 a.m. Um, that, the next day, I guess. So we basically pulled an all-nighter all to drive. Um, that was exhausting. Um, I will never do that again. Uh, that was probably the worst day of driving because we were exhausted at the end of it. Like the literally, the last like three hours were absolute hell. Um, and then this next clip that you are gonna see is gonna jump from, I believe it's that day after we woke up from getting to my parents' house at 5 a.m. So I believe it's like the 16th still. And we slept in and I believe we drove to our house for the first time. That is the next clip that you're gonna see reacting to our house for the first time. I'm a little nervous to see it. Boy, I don't know why. Okay. We're in the neighborhood, but also we ended up just driving 14 hours to North Carolina yesterday. So we got to my parents' house around 5 a.m. All right. first time that we're seeing it like in person we have seen obviously videos and everything like that but we have never seen it in person okay we're still in the neighborhood but i just wanted to film the neighborhood doesn't look too bad obviously some of them look a little sketch but there are smaller houses. I think where we are, our house. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's cuter in person. Ooh, dang. So much cuter in person than I thought. Whoa. So cute, what the heck? 
Oh my god, what the f-